All right, despite all the recent snow and the rainstorms last summer, our entire state is in a drought. And here to talk some about climate change and a little bit about the New Mexico Museum of Natural History is Dr. Spencer Lucas, curator with the New Mexico Natural Museum of Natural History and Science. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. According to a recent LA Times article, almost 87% of the West region is in a drought, and that includes uh, much of the U.S. What do you say about this? You know a lot about the climate, a lot about how things have changed in the Southwest. Do you have any uh, thing you would like to add on that about what it's looking like going forward? Well, as a geologist and paleontologist, I take mm -hmm. a very long view of climate. And right. climate has changed dramatically over hundreds of millions of years in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're living at a time when there, are big, there have been big ice ages. So right. you could say the global climate really is rather cold. Mm -hmm. Yet things seem to be warming up Right. And we're suffering in this part of the world because that warming seems to be making the drought even worse. Yeah, it's made, I mean, just within the past few years, it has been really rough around here. It seems like this year we're trying to get a little bit better, but as when you look at climate, you almost have to look at it differently from weather. Weather's day-to-day -day things, and climate can kind of go a little bit back and forth, but the trend is what you're trying to look at, right? The overall trend of things. Right, you're looking at long-term climate trends. Mm -hmm. and. What I always say is if you want to make the 100% prediction about climate, <laughs> predict that it will change. Exactly. It will change. That's a very good point there. Uh, now, the New Mexico uh, village of Magdalena was operating on a single well when the pump went dry back in early June. This is sobering. I mean, do you have any ideas of what's ahead? I know this is a tough question. People ask me this stuff all the time. Well, the climate scientists at the University of New Mexico, who we mm -hmm. worked with to do an exhibit on climate change, they're predicting that things are just going to get drier. Right. So the bad news from their point of view, their prediction is that things will get drier mm. at perhaps as long as through 2100. Oh, yikes, I hate hearing that, but um, of course we'll try to squeeze in some good years when we can, but the overall trend is what we're looking at here. And um, I did want to talk to you a little bit about the exhibit and the climate in New Mexico's past. Can you talk a little bit about what kind of weather uh, New Mexico's seen uh, years and years and years ago? Sure. In fact, I brought a prop. You All can right, hold it thank up there. you. Okay. Um, to talk about that with, to turn it over on the other side, it's even more interesting. Mm -hmm. What that is is a fossil footprint from near Alamogordo. It's from rocks that are about 280 million years old. Wow. And What does this tell you? Well, you know, it tells us something very interesting about climate. Think about the early lizard-like reptile who made that track. When that animal stepped down, mm -hmm. the ground must have been wet. It must have been mud in order right. to hold the track. Mm -hmm. But then the rock must have dried out. It must have dried out well enough that the track finally became preserved as a fossil. So what that's telling you is that that animal lived in a climate that was wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, seasonally mm -hmm. wet, seasonally dry. And geologists believe that at that time, New Mexico was right at the equator and was experiencing what we would call a true monsoon, meaning it was never cold, there never snowed here. Right. It was wet for months at a time, very hot and wet and it was dry for months at a time. And that footprint fits mm -hmm. that interpretation of New Mexico's climate 280 million years ago. Right, so things are dramatically different now. In fact, uh, if you go to the New Mexico Museum of Natural History, what you're going to find is the climate's been kind of all over the place for New Mexico. They've experienced a little bit of everything, and of course, we talked about some of the changes that are ahead, but if you want to learn, want to learn more about the history or take your child to learn more about the history, very interesting, real-life stuff here at the museum, and uh, definitely a good idea to take your kids there to kind of explain what it used to be like around New Mexico. Correct. Thank Absolutely. you so much for coming in, and of course, we're going to have a link on our website for the museum. Just visit Casa.com and click on the Casa blog.